So we've got the crankshaft inside the engine block and I've only put the two end uh, lower journals inside to rest it. I'm going to take a run out inspection on the crankshaft to see if it's within tolerance or it's outside of tolerance meaning that it's bent. So what we've done is that I've aligned the dowel as my zero position and then dowel to the first bolt hole is 30 degrees and then from bolts first bolt hole to the second bolt hole 60 so I've got degree position all around the flange and I'll go around and take it and then we'll watch the dial indicator to see what's our run out inspection That's pretty much zero. Each increment is five ten thousandths point zero 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 five. So we'll call this a zero. We'll go ahead and set up on the other one and check the other one. All right, we've set up on journal number five. Main journal number five to check the run out inspection. We're on our zero position. Okay, so we got two and a half thousands. Let's go back, find the highest position. Right there. Right there is our highest position, which aligns to approximately maybe 120 degrees. We're set up on journal number four at our zero position. Two and a half. Same location as the one, so this crankshaft is have a uniform uh, bow to it. 
We're okay, we're uh, set up on journal number three and we've got our zero position. I think uh, max is like two. Here on the two. So again, same location. Okay. Check the last journal, uh, number two. All right, last journal, journal number two. We are on our zero position. Zero. Okay, zero. So this uh, crankshaft, I believe, is well within uh, the factory specification, I think the factory spec is 0.15 millimeter, which is about six thousandths. So we're less than half of that. So this crank is good to go. Just need.